Then the mountains tremble and the seas rumble. In the southeastern fringes of Ghana. If you give a duck a chance, it will prefer to fly like a kite. While if you uncover secrets of life, For that, I hear the wretched stories of wars every day from sun up to sundown turn me into a gorilla. And this poem is called The Generator. The machine thunders like hell on the fringes of an apocalyptic attack, deafening throes of an untutored, unrefined stuttering, choking the ears and blocking the nostrils with long congestion fumes, soaring into the dusty skies like chimneys giving praise to a dead sun. It is the generator, the paper mill, the gallery mill, the cocoa dryers, the mechanized goosey peelers and handlers, the shopkeepers and grass cutters cannot bring home a dime without the generator's slime. It is Lagos, the bloodbath from Nepal's chaos. So this poem is a very real and contemporary poem. It's situated in Lagos, which is known to have a lot of generators because of constant power outages and businesses cannot thrive there without you having generators but then the generators seem to be noise and causing tools as well and in a way it typifies a country that is very blessed with oil and natural resources and that the majority of the people cannot have access to a basic utility like electricity and constantly and it also symbolizes what much of sub-saharan africa faces and may have faced um, during um, um, privatization and after privatization where many um, private holdings abolish crops cross subsidies in city centers and put the poorer as the poorer um, rural areas out of the electrical grids because of the fact that they needed to make their monies after buying um, the unworkable government electrical um, institutions. So this poem typifies what Nigeria is facing, uh, which is a symbol of what much of Africa is facing. And it also shows that the fumes from these generators are not really very pleasant. They are long congestion fumes. And it does this with a kind of hyperbole. It says the machine thunders like hell on the fringes of an apocalyptic attack. Hell is already apocalypse. <laughs> if there's a bigger hell, then it means the generator is really something that is causing a lot of headache to average households to people who want to sleep and rest during the day for people who have worked overnight and want to rest and it is something that needs to be reviewed and probably calls for a better use of renewable energy sources like the sun and the wind Then the mountains tremble 
and the seeds rumble in the southeastern fringes of Ghana. If you give a duck a chance, it will prefer to fly like a kite, while if you uncover secrets of life, For that, I hear the wretched stories of wars every day from sunup to sundown turn me into a gorilla.